What about Bedlam, Oklahoma State and Oklahoma? Too much Kyler Murray, explosive offense. I like the Sooners over the Cowboys. Yeah, I wanted to pick Oklahoma State, but the Sooners are too tough, I think. Yeah. Oklahoma won last year 62 to 52. Yeah. I was there. We were there. Yeah, pack of and it, same score this year. <laughs> Oklahoma wins. I see a shootout, too. <laughs> I, I think people don't realize Oklahoma State can score. You, you know, one week they're on, the next week they're off in a rivalry game, Bedlam. They will score against this Oklahoma defense. They're not going to score quite enough. enough, enough. I think Kyler Murray outscores uh, the Oklahoma State offense. All right, Texas and Texas Tech. Breck and Hager expected to play. Dislocated his elbow. Think he's going to be able to go. Who wins it? Tell you what, the Red Raiders, they can score on anybody, but they will find a way to lose a game late. So I'm going with the Hook'em Horns. I'm going Texas. I think Texas is on the road back, but I think they're overrated this year. I got Tech. I think this is their whole season right here. I'm going wow. Texas Tech. Yep. Wow. Let's give it a not so fast. Not so not fast. So fast. Yeah, but <laughs> Texas Tech at all wins it. I'm with you. And, and even though their quarterback Bowman's out, Jet Duffy steps in. Different kind of approach. More of a run def and more defense. I think Texas Tech at home wins. I think they knock off Texas. All right, Washington State pulled one out last week. Buffs have lost four in a row. Who do you got? Tell you what, I'm impressed with the way Washington State plays late in games. They're not folding their tent. They're out there fighting. They're showing how resilient they can be as a ball club. I'm going Cougars. Yeah. I'm going Cougars as well. I struggle with that. I'm going Cougars, though. Don't struggle. That was a good pick. We, we, <laughs> we were in Pullman. It was a beautiful sight. Was, I'm not picking great. against him. Washington State. I'm going Colorado. Oh, no. <gasps> I am. What? I, am. I know I, why. I'm going Colorado. <laughs> why? Because you're keeping <laughs> it from being four across. No. Oh, yeah. Chenault, Chenault <laughs> is back. Colorado's at home. Okay. Right. They, nice. They've lost four in a row. It's a great time for Washington State to underestimate them. We got Ralphie uh, running around it's there nice. for Mike Lee. It's nice that yeah. he wants <laughs> us. Yeah. How can I you love the people, people, love the people the baby, there. Just, the baby buffalo. Yeah, Ralphie. Do <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give it, really big game in the ACC Coastal. Pittsburgh's on top of that division. They beat Virginia Tech. I like our doozy's defense. I have uh, Pitt in a close game against Virginia Tech. Yeah, I'm taking Pitt. V Vitek couldn't beat us at home. They're, they're not going to beat Pitt at home. Yeah. Nice pick. Pitt is hot. Virginia Tech is not. <laughs> there you go. Go with That's, Pitt. That sums it up. I think Pat Narduzzi last week got a big win. Got his team to really believe that this could be a year they're going to get to an ACC championship. I don't think they'll slow down this week against Virginia Tech. Hmm. All right. Got Pitt across the board there. What do you think about uh, Florida State and Notre Dame? I think it can be more competitive than people think it's going to be. I think that Notre Dame will win this game, but it's going to be a little closer to the experts oh. think. You guys don't like the fight in Irish, huh? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. right there. There. <laughs> you got him with no shirt out there. That yeah. Yeah. Hey, he just took the shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's in his head. It pains me to say. State is a 17 point underdog. I can. <laughs> Notre Dame. I think, should, I think it should be more. Um, Brandon Wimbush in at quarterback. Ian Book out. I think Notre Dame will get a challenge early. They'll make a play or two. And I think Florida State at that point will shut it down. And Notre Dame will pull away. Mm -hmm. Everybody believing Notre Dame. That's not popular here. But now maybe this will be popular. Boston College and Notre Dame. BC is far more retro than New Wonderland is a preferred locker room dance song, and they have Fleetwood Thursdays play Fleetwood Mac, and they yell for sweet little lies at the end. Lies? It's not a lie if you believe it. And Boston College believes they can beat Clemson. To get to this point, you're truly four quarters away from accomplishing a goal. You love moments like this. It's a chance to win a division, to punch our ticket to Charlotte, and a chance to do something that's unprecedented. When we win, uh, on Saturday. The chances of us going and winning the ACC championship are one week closer. We're going to cut it loose and we're going to roll. There's no pressure on us. You know, people out there probably don't expect us to win. If we win the game, it, it, it's over. Somebody got to hand us a trophy. This is the season. This is the season. Both teams will be putting their chips on the table. 
All right, Herbie's going to be calling the game, so no pick, but give me a big key. Clemson's 18-1 the last 19 true road games. BC needs good things to happen early, running the football, and to keep this crowd into it. So I think the early start, yeah. a fast start. I'm not picking anybody. They think you are. But I, yeah, that's, that'll be a big key. Like, hold on, I didn't pick you all. <laughs> I didn't pick anybody. BC yeah. has never beaten a top five team at home. Oh. It's tonight, tonight. I tell you what, RD, I've played in some just very cold places before, and I know this affects a team from a warm weather area. I think that because of the, the talent that Clemson has, these guys are going to come out and play out of control, right? But when they come and this weather starts to smack them in the face, it's a difference maker. Boston College will upset. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure beat Notre Dame in 93, and I stormed the field, and I plan on storming the field tonight when we beat Clemson. I'm in Boston, home of the winners. The Boston Red Sox. World champs! Hey! New England Patriots, five Super Bowl wins! Enough said there! <laughs> Boston Celtics, 17 titles! Hey! Boston Bruins won the Stanley Cup seven years ago! <laughs> and of course, Boston College! Hey! <laughs> it would be only natural that I'd pick Boston College to win if I thought they would win. Yes. They won't. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs>